making an intercession and showing that those who have come to God out of the offering of the blood of bulls of goats, a substitutionary offering, he also caused them who believed it pointed to him. And the blood had not been shed yet, so he was there to clear them. Amen. He was there to clear you and I. Amen. And oh God, I hope he's there tonight. Amen. For every sinner, the lamb been slain. How can Jehovah see anything but that bloody lamb standing there? Amen. And the lamb proceeded out into the vision now, as it had been slain. Notice, come from the Father's throne. Oh, think. He, what did he advance from to this vision? He come from glory. Where he's seated at the right hand of God, he advanced forth to John out of glory. Oh, would not it be a glorious thing if our sinful thoughts tonight could be laid aside long enough to accept him? He would advance all the way from glory tonight to make himself known to any of us. The Lamb. Advancing from glory for intercessions. All right. To make claims now for his redemption. Remember, he had been on his mentorial work back here. But remember, these seals are ready to be opened. And the Lamb come from the sanctuary of God. Advance forward. Wait till we get over there that one hour. Take that one half hour that is silent. The sanctuary smoking. There's no more intercession. The sacrifice is left. It's a judgment seat. There's no blood on it no more for the blood colored lamb has walked away. Don't you wait till that time. Remember in the Old Testament? As long as the blood was off the mercy seat, it was judgment. But as long as the blood was on there, that was mercy. But when the Lamb walked away, that did it. What's he been? He's been an intercessor. No other person. Tell me where Mary can make intercessions then. What can Mary offer? What could St. Francis, St. Assisia, or any of, uh, uh, St. Cecilia, or uh, any other human being? John never saw a thousand saints come out from the Mediterranean. He saw a lamb. A lamb that was slain. Bloody! I don't care how many saints have been slain, they will all do it. Every one of them, like the thief said of the cross, we sin and we are doing this, but this man has done nothing. Amen. He was the only man that was worthy. Where he come from? The intercessory box. What's he coming for now? Watch him. Oh. John was weeping. Where's all that? What's going to happen? So don't weep, John said the other. There comes the line. He was the one for bail when he looked. Here come a lamb. Bloody. Had it been slain and anything kills bloody, you know. It's been killed. His neck's been chopped open or something. The blood's all over it. Here come a lion being slain. And he came for. Oh, my. What? To make his claims on his redemption. Amen. Amen. Oh, uh, don't you just feel like this over that corner sitting and crying, huh? Here come a lamb, still bloody. John, there wasn't nothing there. All the celebrity was standing around, but there was none of them to do it. So here comes the lamb now. His intercessory days is over. The mediatorial days, that's when this angel first stand there. You wait till you get the seals. And time shall be no more. Right. That half hour of silence. Watch what takes place in that half hour of silence. And that seven seal next Sunday night. Lord willing. He comes forth. What? To take his claims now. Oh my. Whoa. Comes forth to take his claims. 
Now, he had done the kinsman work. He'd come down, become man, died. He'd done the kinsman work of redemption, but had not as yet called for his claim. Now he comes on the scene to claim his rights. Watch what takes place. Oh, my. For which he was slain. For as becoming a kinsman to man to die in his place to redeem him, but the elder was right when he said he was a lion. See? The elder called himself a lion because he had been a lamb. An intercessor, a bloody lamb. But now he's coming forth as a lion. His days of intercession is over. Let him that's filthy be filthy still. Let him that's righteous be righteous still. Let him that's holy be holy still. The thing is closed. Oh, bruh. Then what? Then what? And remember, it comes at the seventh church age. When the mysteries of God will be opened up. Now, what's real close? This is something you must get. Now, he had been doing his mentorial work, making intercessions for the believer. For 2,000 years, he had been back there a lamb. Now, he is stepping forth from eternity to take the title deeded book and to break the seals and reveal the mysteries. What of it? At the end time. Do you get it? Amen. All right. Go on. Baby. Now, break the seals and release all the mysteries to them, to the seventh angel, whose message is to reveal all the mysteries of God. The mysteries of God lays in these seven seals. See? That's what he said here. All the mysteries lays in these seven seals. And the Lamb comes forth now from being a mediator between God and man. He becomes a lion. And when he becomes a lion, he takes the book. That's his rights. God's hell is the mystery. But now the Lamb comes. Nobody can take the book. It's still in the hands of God. No poor, poor place, whatever it might be. They can't take no... The book, the seven seals hasn't been revealed. See? But when the uh, when his work is done as an intercessor, he comes forth and John, the elder, said he's alive. And he comes forth. Watch him. Ooh, ah. See? He comes forth to take the book. Now watch. You reveal the mysteries of God that others has guessed that in all of these denominational ages. See then, the seventh angel, if this book, Mysteries, is the word of God, the seventh angel has to be a prophet for the word of God to come to us. No priest, pope, or anything else can get it. The word don't come to such. The word of God comes only to a prophet. Always. Now, it can't for a promise such. Yes. And when he come forth, he'd take the mysteries of God, or the church would get all scrupled up in all these denominations, and restore the faith of the children back to the fathers. Yes. And then the world judgment would strike, and the earth would be burned. And then the righteous would walk out upon the ashes of the wicked in the millennium. You understand it now? Yes. All right. Others... I guess that in the denominational age, but see, he must be this man, the seventh angel of Revelations 10, 1 to 4, is a, the seventh angel has the mysteries of God given to him and finishes all the mysteries. It's been left off down through the denominational ages. Now you can see why I do not strike at my brethren in denomination. It's a system of denomination. They do not. There's no need of them trying to know it because it could not be revealed. That's according to the Word. 
they pursued that and believed it was there and by faith walked by it, but now it's evidently proved. Hey, man. Oh, my, what a, what a scripture. Now watch. Then it is he, the lamb, that takes his kingly position when his saints come to crown him Lord of Lords and King of Kings. See? See, time has run out. Revelation 10, 6, there's no more time. Notice, there's seven horns on this lamb. Did you notice it? Having seven horns, we've just been through that. Horns means power to the animal. And notice, he was not a animal because he took the book out of the right hand of him that set up on the throne. See? Notice. Oh, my. I believe I had that wrote down somewhere. Oh, to break the seals and to loose the title, uh, the title deed and the uh, the message to the last angel, and um, he takes his king, and he takes, that's what he comes forth now to do. Now watch, when he comes out, the seven horns, now when he saw this lamb, John looking at it, it, it looked like it had been slain, bloody. And he's come from eternity, and he ceased to be a mediator. Then pray to Mary as much as you want to. Yeah. There was no man in heaven and earth or no person, no being, no one else could take it. John even wept about it. Oh, Catholic friend, can't you see that? Don't pray to some dead person. The Lamb is the only mediator. Amen. He was the one that came forth. And what did he do now? He's been back here interceding until his blood has atoned for every person. And the Lamb now knows what's written in the book. So he knows from the foundation of the world their names were in there. So he has stood back here and, re, and, and done mediator work like this until mediator work until every one that's been put in the book has been redeemed and it's finished and now he walks out. He, he's done his kinsman work. He's all, you know what the kinsman work was to testify before the elders never go ask to get off his shoe and so forth. He's done all this now. Now he comes to take his bride. Amen. Amen. Come now, his king. He's looking for his queen. <laughs> Amen. In this book is the whole secret of it. Wrapped up around seven seals. <laughs> oh, brother. Seven seals waiting for him to come. Notice, let's get these symbols. It's just nine o'clock. We got three hours. Amen. We got, let's just, Amen. keep telling me that people's getting tired, so I guess we are. But let, let's take this anyhow. Seven horns was the seven churches. See? The seven church ages because that was the Lamb's protection. What He protected His rights with on earth was a God-sent group of people that protected, see, the horn on the Lamb. Seven eyes are the seven messengers of the seven church ages. Seven eyes, seven seers. Would you like to write down some scripture? Let's just turn to it. What is it? Got that much time? Amen. All right. Let's go to Zechariah. The book of, of Zechariah. Just a little bit. And we'll, we'll read some of this. I, I don't want to keep you too long on these things. and, and uh, I, But yet I don't want you to miss it. What's any more important than this? Amen. What's in my... What, um, and nothing more important than eternal life to a person. And we must have... We must get this now and, and uh, be sure that we get it. All right, All right sir. And uh, now we want to read Zechariah, the third chapter. I think that's right now. Ze Zechariah 3, we're just going to get these symbols here. If I've got my scriptures wrote down, I was just shouting all over the place this afternoon when I hit this, so I, I just don't know where I got it right or not a hope I have. Zechariah 3, let's see if it's, I got 89 here, but it must be 8 to 9. All right. All right. I know it can't be 89. Zechariah 3, 8 to 9. Hear now, O Joshua. 
the high priest, thou and thy fellows that sit with thee, for they are man, wandered at. For behold, I will bring forth my servant, the branch, Christ. For behold, the stone that I will lay before Joshua upon stone, one stone shall be seven eyes. Seven eyes. Behold, I will engrave, and engraving that on said the Lord of hosts, I will remove the iniquity of the land in one day. Amen. Now, let's turn over to Zechariah 4 and 10. 4 and 10. Listen. Who has despised the day of small things? God in simplicity. See? For they shall rejoice and see the plummet in the hands of Zebulun, with whose, with those seven. These are the eyes of the Lord which run to and fro through the whole earth. The seven eyes. Eyes mean seeing. Seeing means prophets, seers. This lamb had seven horns, and on each horn had an eye. Seven eyes. What is it? Christ and his bride. Seven church ages. Out of there were seven prophets that went forth. Seven seers. Ah. So the last one must be a seer. All right. Notice. He is not an animal. He took the book. Out of the right hand of him that sat upon the throne. Amen. Who was it? The, the owner, the original owner that had the book of redemption in his right hand. And no angel or angelic being, nothing else could take the place. And this bloody lamb walked out and took the book out of his hand. Amen. What was it? Brother, this is the most sublime thing in the Scripture. Amen. An act that not an angel, not nothing could do it. And the Lamb come and took it from the right hand of him that sat up on the throne. Amen. What is it? Now it belongs to the Lamb. Amen. God's law is required. He's the one who holds it. God's law required a kinsman redeemer. And the Lamb come out for it. I am the kinsman. I am the redeemer. I now have made intercession for them, and now I've come to claim the rights for them. I've come to claim the rights. In that they have a right to everything that lost in the fall, and I've paid the price. Oh, brother. Don't that make you feel religious? Not by good works which we have done, but by His mercy. Oh, wait a minute, and them elders and everything else begin to throw off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> begin to get on the ground. See? No one, no one could do it. And He walks right up to the right hand of God and took the book out of his hand and claimed his right. I have died for them. I am their kinsman redeemer. I have, 